everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a um, six by six inch little canvas and I put down my base coat of my house paint, which is Color Play Satin and that is from Walmart. I'm gonna, just gonna do a simple bloom here today. So um, let's get started with my paints. I'm using mostly the primary, el Color Flow primary elements and my first color is moss green. Very, very pretty color. And my next color is the Color Art Primary Elements Carmen. And my next color is the Bling It, which is also by uh, Color Art, and it's the Interference Gold. Very pretty color. And my next color is a combination of the Color Art Primary Elements Pigment Mystic Blue. And then I just added a little bit of the Golden Phalo Turquoise to that. And I'll have to show you that color because it's just, I just think it's a really, really beautiful color. Just, just gorgeous. Okay, so um, I will put my recipe uh, with what I mix the, the uh, colorful art uh, primary elements with. And then my topper is um, Amsterdam Titanium White. And to that I added, um, it was uh, one ounce of Floetrol to one teaspoon of the Amsterdam Titanium White. And then I did uh, add about three drops of the Minwax Pre-Stain Wood Conditioner to that. So let's get started. And we'll put down a little bit more of my pillow paint here, just in the middle. And I am using my Lazy Susan today. And I just wanted to keep my colors simple here today. What I'm thinking of, and the reason I wanted to do this video for you all is, if you're looking for little Christmas gifts, holiday gifts that you can um, give your family or your friends, and you have the color art pigments already, if you just buy a few of these little six by six or they even come four by four um, canvases like a, a pair of them and and do these little bloom flowers it's such a pretty pretty gift and this is that interference gold i'm putting on top here and then i will put my topper on And what I'm going to do is just blow that out with my blow dryer on low. And I will use my straw, I think, to get that a little better. see I'm blowing that topper over the top of my colors and then I'll let it set for just a minute
Okay, I think I'm just going to let that sit for a minute here. See what comes up. And then I will spin it. Getting a little bit of the lacing in here. Okay, let's give it a little spin. the other way. And I think what I'm going to do is add a little bit more paint here. Looks like it's a little thin and if I add more it'll help the paint run off the canvas here. Probably should have done that before I started spinning, but that's okay. I just noticed it in these few areas here. Okay, give it another spin. And it looks like it's a little bit uneven, so I'll try and give it, get it a little better here. Okay, let's spin it. That looks a little better. I think I'm going to try and tip a little bit here. See what I get. See if I can get the paint to move at all. And it looks like it is. it down this way a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to try another spin here. Okay, and I will go the opposite way one time. Okay, and what I'm going to do is, again, if I can find my straw, take my straw and blow it out. Hmm, I don't know where I set it. Oh, here it is. I'm going to just blow it out a little bit here on the edges. Get this edge. This edge a little bit. I'm 
try this again. Okay, another thing you can do is take your skewer or a little stick and I'm going to take the the small end of it. You can draw your lines out a little bit. Just to give it a little bit more dimension. I'm wiping it off after each time I do draw it out. And you kind of want to draw it out along the natural lines that have already occurred here as you can see just a way to play with it. Just going to draw a little circle there in the middle. Okay, I think I'll do a quick torch. And this would make a very, very nice holiday gift, Christmas gift, or any any kind of gift, even a little birthday gift for a friend or family member. And I'm going to get you down for a close-up. Here's our close-up. Again, this is just a little 6 by 6 inch canvas. And here's the upper left-hand corner. And I really love these color art primary elements. They're just beautiful. You can just see the shimmer in there. And I did get some of the lacing. Very pretty. Again, I will list in my description everything I mixed my paints with here today. There's a lot of different bloom recipes out there. And I still am watching a lot of different artists do it and changing my recipe up now and then. But um, I will give credit also in the description um, to um, the recipe I used, the artist recipe I used. Here's the upper right-hand corner. Very pretty. Just coming down the right-hand side here. Really pretty in there. Okay, so let me know what you think of this video. And give me a thumbs up if you like it share it make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time i do post a new video subscribe if you haven't that would really help my channel grow and until next time take care everybody thanks for watching bye for now